seedlings that are leggy, spindly, or maybe even falling over. Hi, I'm Valerie with Now Gardening, and today I'm here to talk about three different types of leggy seedlings and how to fix them. We'll be looking at cucumbers, zucchini or courgette, and of course tomatoes. But before we get started, if you haven't joined me already, please click on the subscribe button down below so we can grow together. And stay tuned to the end of the video when I will share a tip for ensuring that your seedlings are ready for the big move outside. Now let's get started. First, what is the difference between a healthy versus a leggy seedling? If your seedling looks like it is stretching, then it probably is. Seedlings need a lot of light and they will bend and stretch any which way possible in order to reach the sunlight. The second indication is a spindly stem. If a seedling is putting all of its energy into growing up, then it won't have any energy left to focus on building a thick, strong stem. The third way to tell if you have a leggy seedling is if it's leaning severely or falling over. This means that the plant is not able to support its weight, which is a cry for help in the plant world. So moving on, what do we do to prevent this? Well, even in a south facing window, I have had seedlings that have gone leggy. But what I found is the best bet is to expose the seedlings to as much natural direct sunlight as possible during the day and to also put them under a grow light. As I mentioned before, seedlings need a lot of light right from the beginning. They're hungry for it. So the more light you can give them, the better, up to 18 hours a day. But that doesn't help you now that your seedlings are already leggy. So let's get on to fixing the problem at hand. Online you'll find a lot of conflicting information, but what I'm showing you today is what I've personally tested and has worked for me. We'll be looking at cucumbers, zucchini or courgette, and of course tomatoes. If you saw my first video on fixing leggy seedlings, you'll know that I've experimented with a couple of different methods of fixing them. Well, what we're going to focus on today is the most surefire method to work for these particular seedlings. First, here's a cucumber seedling that germinated overnight on my radiator and was growing so fast that by the end of the next day, it was already getting leggy. This was with about five days of growth. So let me show you how I'm going to fix this. is a before and after. This one was as leggy as these are two weeks ago before I repotted it. So now, and now let's go on to the zucchini or courgette seedling. So similar to the cucumber, it came up and within maybe two days it had started getting really leggy, this one. So I'm going to take the taller one. I just wanted to kind of shovel this guy out without breaking the stem or destroying too many of the roots. My tool is that I usually use for this, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna put the roots all the way down and be very careful not to break the stem of your plant and not to damage too many of the roots. Just gonna push that down in there. Yeah, fill it the rest of the way up. Here's a before and after of zucchini. This one was actually even more leggy than these were a couple of weeks ago because it had fallen over on its side. Most sources online will tell you that you can't do this with a zucchini plant because the stem will actually rot on them. Lodge this one that I repotted a couple of weeks ago. See how nice the roots are developing in there? And I'm making a mess, but I'm just gonna brush off the top part of this so we can look at the stem that was buried. And it's definitely, definitely not rotting. It's very firm, no issues at all. I found that the secret to the success with this transplant is to water it from below. That way the roots stretch down and seek out the water beneath them as opposed to the stem that you've replanted sitting around in boggy soil and rotting. And this is a before and an after of a tomato seedling. Now let me show you how it's done. Just pop one of these out. One thing I'm going to do a little differently for the tomato as opposed to the cucumber or the zucchini is that I'm really going to plant this guy all the way up to the top. The cool thing about tomatoes is they'll actually grow roots all along the stem that you bury. So we've got cucumber, zucchini, and tomato. And this is what they should look like in the next couple of weeks. I've got cucumber, zucchini, and tomato. And now for the tip that I promised at the beginning of the video. Open a window for your seedlings. The cooler air and breeze will help strengthen the plant and get it ready for its eventual move outside. 